What any firefighter will tell you is that one of the reasons we do this job is to help people. You get them out of the building, they go into an ambulance, we don't get to see them after that. Hey, what, what happened to that person? Are they okay? Boston's bravest pull people out of burning buildings just about every day. But once those ambulance doors close, the firefighters hardly ever see those people again, the people they've just saved to find out how things turned out for them and to answer their questions. But Local 718 of the Boston Firefighters is working to change all that. Hi, I'm Barry Nolan, and what you're about to see is how a remarkable group of firefighters is working to see to it that the young survivors of catastrophic fires have helped putting the pieces of their lives back together. Local 718 Sean Hanlon and Steve Turley were kicking around ideas at the firehouse, thinking there's got to be a way to help kids out after the fire's out. Uh, today you hear so much about people just being concerned about their own particular needs. Here we have a group of Boston firefighters that are out there in addition to their own families, their own duties, their own obligations to the city, are taking their spare time, whatever they have left, to go out and to, to care for this very special group of uh, people that have been uh, horribly traumatized by a terrible uh, injury. DJ Awalt went to school, like any other kid, dressed for his school's Halloween costume contest. During the assembly, a classmate, who Donald barely knew, pulled out a lighter. DJ's costume burst into flames. After singeing over 30% of his body, he was rushed by airlift from Ellsworth, Maine, to Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital. There, he was treated for his severe burns. That was one of the things that the fire department made easier, because those guys from the fire department, he made friends with them, and they stopped by almost every day. Anytime I need any advice or just want to talk to Donald, or sometimes I just get in touch with them because they're concerned. Firefighters visited with DJ throughout his two-month stay at Brigham and Women's Hospital. They were also visiting with victims in the burn units at Mass General and Shriners Children's Hospital. These firefighters are establishing relationships not only with the victims, but also with the medical staff. This was an opportunity for us here at Mass General to be able to form a relationship with the firefighters that we work with up until that point somewhat anonymously. I mean, that sort of willingness and, and ability to be able to impact patients' families at a time of such crisis is, is hugely beneficial. At the age of seven, Samantha Reckes was sent to Shriners Hospital with severe burn blisters covering her entire body. Today, she still requires constant home care. I'm sick of it. It's hard for any kid to be sick, to be away from home, to be away from friends, but fire victims who must deal with lifelong scars and endless surgeries have an even tougher time. But because of the work that these firefighters are doing, it helps both the kids and the family to get by. The whole fire department delivered a body jeep for her for Christmas and put it in Shrine's hospital in storage until she came out. Every time I see Steve or Sean or any of them, it just it meant a lot to have them there and, and to know they were thinking of us and supporting us and, and they were so good to us. Um, the day we were leaving the hospital, they pulled up in their fire truck, and um, it was amazing. Everybody was staring and looking around, and um, like she was royalty. When children come to the hospital, it's a tough time, but it helps to have many people around to make it bearable. That's what the firefighters and the medical staff do. It's not easy to see children in pain. But what we do here, I'm very proud of. We have a lot of families that when they come here, they have nothing more than what's on their back. Firefighters help with gifts and clothes for the children, and, and that's very important. This is important what we do here. Having associations that help us out and do the extras are really important. Obviously, after something like this happens to somebody's life, it's pretty traumatic. And us as firefighters, we, uh, you know, we're around fire a lot and, you know, situations like this, so, you know, you can talk and relate about these things. Then you get in here and, and you start to think, you know, you don't have it so bad. These kids, and their kids, have been through hell and back, and, you know, they don't complain about it.
you see things here that you've never seen. You hear about accidents that happen nowhere else. Having to see children in pain but knowing um, that their scarring will never go away. There is no way that most of us can even begin to understand this kind of pain. But the firefighters of Local 718 want to be supportive both in and out of the hospital. That's why, during the summer, they work with other volunteers at the Children's Burn Camp in Union, Connecticut. I had the opportunity to visit the burn camp in Connecticut, and needless to say, it was an eye-opening and awesome experience for me. It's a week long, and the only thing the kids always say is they want to get together again. So maybe we can start off slow and do uh, like a night on one of the harbor islands out here. The kids love them, uh, and they love the kids, and it's very obvious, and everybody has, it's a very positive uh, thing on both sides. And any little thing that happens, you know, it's just, if you see a smile on a kid, that just like makes it so, so much better, you know? And that can come any which way. Oh, get a hassle. Do a better thing. And thank you. Let me do you. Well, anyway, if uh, anything that happens, you know, just, you can see, he just, he feels pretty comfortable around me. He can take my hat away. So that's kind of cool. So he's, you know, he's not really thinking about anything that's going on with him, so. They come to this place and they go, this is why we do our job. These are the kids that we, we try to help. You always find time for the important things in your life. No matter what you have going on, if you want to do something, you're always going to find the time to do it. The closeness that they feel to each other is just amazing. And that feeling for each other just kind of spreads out into their lives. The local 718 Boston Firefighters Burn Foundation is just getting started. They want to continue and they want to stay on course, but to do that, they need money. Hopefully we can get the uh, public to have a little bit of awareness about what we're doing. I've often thought that this was something that was lacking with us that could easily be remedied if, if there was such an organization that was willing to partner with us. And uh, now we have that, and I think that the possibilities are endless for what we can do as a team. A startup uh, charity, we're doing really well. I mean, we have our name out there is wherever we can get it. We have a big need, and that is uh, local housing for kids and their families as they recover from a bad injury. I would love to see a transportation fund set up. We're looking for help from the general public uh, to do different things, especially the fundraiser. I mean, uh, if I am not millionaires, we can only do so much. Unfortunately, that's one of the, the hard lessons we've learned when we started this Burn Foundation is we need money to do all the things we want to do. We're aiming real high. We're going to shoot for the moon, so to speak. If you ever heard the phrase, shoot for the moon, if you miss, you wind up somewhere in between the stars. That's what we're doing. For these firefighters, it's not just a job. It's a way of life. It's what they do. They get in, they get people out. And now it's our turn to help them give something back.